somebody that I admire told me that those who hold the pen hold the power. Nope. I didn't know if you'd heard of that or not. I wanted to share it with you. That's my favorite quote by me. <laughs> Those who hold the pen hold the power. Yeah, the best sermons you'll ever preach are the ones that are tattooed on your own heart. Life ordains us. It, in the hands of the ego, it looks like an annihilation, but instead it's an initiation. We all have been initiated, and uh, it's a good thing to share our own resurrection story that we got back up. It's a beautiful thing. I remember when I was a kid, my mom was dying, since we're talking about death, and uh, I was devastated. I was just slowly closing in on myself. I was in so much denial. Everybody in my house was home. All of my mom's sisters came and lived in the house with us for a couple of weeks. Everybody was staying home, and I was still going to school. And my teachers were like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, it's fine. Like, I don't, it's, I don't, it's nothing. It's nothing. Nothing's happening. Like, I was in denial. And because I couldn't imagine living without my mother, I couldn't uh, imagine a living without breath. And I, I remember like a few days before she died, my dad came and sat next to me and my two brothers. And I was like, I had heard from the priest, I had heard from the teachers, I heard from everyone that my mom was dying. But I just didn't, I just, I just made up stories about how horrible they were, like that they would say that to, to, to me, that they were lying. So when my dad sat down next to me that day, he said to me, I want to tell you a story. I want to tell you the story that happened to me when I was your age, this exact story, this exact thing happened to me. When I was your age, my mom died of breast cancer. And I was shocked. I was like, I was like, my dad was a boy. Like, I didn't even believe he was a boy. Like I couldn't see that part of the story. But what saved my life in that moment was that Suddenly I saw a possibility of breath beyond my mother. Suddenly I saw a possibility of life. Like I was like, my dad went through this particular place of hell. Feels like it's literally crushing me like a grape. And he grew up to have a family and a wife and children and a life. Like I did not see that possibility for myself. So when we have somebody who comes to our community who's willing to share our stories, their stories, uh, that's the whole thing, man. That's the whole thing. This community was um, inspired by the 12-step program. And I thought to myself in many hours sitting in 12-step program, like, why do you have to, like, this stuff is good, like, for us to sit knee to knee and, and heart to heart and share our truth. And why do we got to wait until we're busted and broken on the bathroom floor in fetal position to get a scoop of, like, humanity? <laughs> so, so that was one of the inspirations for Speakeasy. I just wanted to sit and speak easily about how do we navigate humanity and our own humanity in conjunction with our divinity. So anyway, that's the, that's the long and short of it.